Today on Papa's Projects, let's talk off-grid inverters. The three different types that I have are all low voltage. This first set, I have these wired in parallel together. They're MPP solar off-grid low voltage inverters, 24 volt, 2400 watts. I am able to parallel these together with a parallel kit and I'm able to share the current between the two of these. Later on today, when I get the other parallel kits, I'll be able to connect all four of these together, and it'll be 9,600 watts of output power that I would be able to use off of this. These are really nice because you're using a 24-volt system, and for a beginner, that's um, pretty easy to start with. As you move on, we have another MPP off-grid, low-voltage solar inverter. This one is actually UL listed, so you could hook this up to your house if you pulled the permits and everything. Uh, I choose to keep this off-grid. This is a 48-volt, 6,500-watt off-grid inverter. This is also considered where you could hook this up batteryless and run some of your things off of this without batteries. This can only do 110 or 120 volts output. If you were to parallel two of these together, you would be able to get split phase, um, three phase, or single phase. And then over here, we also have a MPP solar inverter, which is low voltage, off-grid, and this is three-phase. You can do 110 to 120, or 220 to 230, or split-phase, which is 120 degrees out of phase with each other. So you'd have three legs on that of 120 degrees. This one is used off-grid. It uses 48 volt battery system. And this is really nice, very stable. All these are actually pretty stable um, where I've had no problems with them once I've wired them up. Some of the differences going back here, when I'm working with a 24 volt inverter, I have to use two 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries in series in order to get that 24 volts. So when I do that, I really only have 100 amp hours at nighttime to use, not 200. On a 12 volt system for each battery that I have that I'd be wiring in parallel, I'd be able to increase my amp hours for every battery that I had. But in order to increase my amp hours on a 24 volt system, I would have to have two sets of 24 volt batteries, then put those in parallel. But for four batteries, I would still only have 200 amp hours at night to be able to use. Right now on this battery bank, I actually have six 12 volt, 100 amp hour AGM batteries parallel together along with another six parallel together. And then those two sets are in series to create the 24 volt battery bank. Now at the end of the day, when my batteries are fully charged and it's nighttime, I now have 600 amp hours of battery life that I can use overnight, run my fridge, freezers, lights, whatever I want to do. Now over on the two 48 volt systems, I have to have four batteries in series to create 48 volts, four 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. But I only have 100 amp hours at nighttime to be able to use. So, although this system can 
give me 5,000 watts of output power during the day when I'm running this, I can run for um, 12,000 BTU, 120 volt mini split systems on this, heat pumps at one time, or I could run two of those and one of these 18,000 BTU, 220 volt mini splits at the same time. But it has to be on a 48 volt battery bank with at least four batteries in series. And you can have another one hooked up to that in parallel so that you would have a 200 amp hour bank, but you'd only have 200 amp hours at nighttime out of eight batteries. So these are great. I run these two during the day to be able to run um, 120 volt pool heat pumps to heat my pool, to run heat pumps to cool and heat my house, to run my variable speed pool um, pump, which can use up to 12, 1400 watts when it's running at full peak. So these are great during the day, just having one set of batteries hooked up for a 48 volt, I can run quite a bit of stuff off of this. This is 10,000 watts between these two that I'm able to produce for about eight to 10 hours a day during the summertime. Over here, these four hooked up is basically the equivalent of those two together over there, or two of these would be pretty close to the equivalent of one of these over here. Because over here, these are sharing the current together. And when I go all four, I'll be sharing the current together for all of those four together. So I'll be able to run the equivalent of this. Now at nighttime, I haven't wired it up yet, but I will have over in this spot over here, a 12 volt inverter. Now, the reason why I would use a 12 volt inverter at night instead of these 24 volts is when I look at my battery bank down here on a 24 volt system, even though I have 12 100 amp hour batteries at nighttime, I only have 600 amp hours. But if I switch this over to 12 volts at night, now those 12 batteries become 1200 amp hours that I can use overnight instead of 600. So I've doubled my capacity. And the way that I do that is I've wired in a double pole, double throw, 100 amp switch to where right now it's over on the right hand side it's on a this 24 volt system but if i wanted to i could shut all these down turn my breakers off on all of these systems and then take and switch this off from the 24 volts and switch it over to the left and i would go to 12 volts and double my amp hours on my battery bank. This is, um, I've kind of left the wiring like this so you can see where everything goes. It's a little bit of a spaghetti there with four of these hooked up. But I'm trying to help you to see like up here on this red cable right here, these are our current sharing cables over here. Here's our communication cable that runs between the two. And in this, we have wire that is in a orange casing and yellow casing. And one is for your AC in and one is for your AC out to share. So you have to be able to wire those. And it's much easier to do for me if I have yellow here. And when I come over and I have yellow over here, I'm able to realize which one that's going to. And then the orange, and orange makes it much easier when I go to wire these things together. And when I go to wire these together, I pre-cut 
all the wire for this. So the wire over here that I have connecting these two together is the same length as the ones over here. And also for my battery bank, going from my switch right here down to my battery bank, I have the same length cables off of this set of battery banks right here and this set up here. The reason why you do that is with these inverters, if you have different lengths of a positive and negative cable going to one set of batteries and a different length going to the other set, when you go to connect that together on that switch and you have the 24 volts of those two 12 volt battery banks, if you have a different voltage, your inverter is probably not going to like it and won't start up. So the manufacturer in your manual tells you to keep your length the same so that you have the same voltage going through there. And I ran into that problem. I had different lengths and I couldn't get the thing to stay going. It would get up and as soon as like my freezer compressor would kick on, it would trip the breaker and I'd get an error code. So it was very easily fixed by going back and having the exact same length cables on my battery bank going to my switch. Now I hear I do have a different length of cable for my positive versus the negative cable coming from my battery bank. And even over here, this is an even longer length and that has not bothered the system from staying up and running and stable. Um, I've had no problems with that length of wire. It's only when you go to the battery and when you go to connect off of your switch to your bus bars over here, trying to keep that same length helps. Mine are a little bit different size and it's not affecting the performance of these inverters. So, just to give you a breakdown of these on these inverters, these are right around $700 a piece for these 24 volt, 2400 watt inverters. This one and this one will set you back about $1,500 each. Now, in our state, we have no tax on solar products. So when I buy this locally, if it's $1,500, there's no tax on it. I pay that. And if I buy it online, I'm gonna pay tax. Um, so they charge you tax online, but if you can find a place local and your state does not charge tax on solar as an incentive to go solar, you'd be better off buying it locally and save the tax. Um, the other thing about these, is that when you get these you'll have if you want to parallel these together you'll have to buy the parallel kit separately these none of these come with a parallel kit um, to share the current together so you would have to purchase those now like i said the reason why i like this system with the four smaller ones is because at nighttime I can utilize my battery bank that's fully charged and I really have 1200 amp hours instead of 600. At nighttime, in order for me to get 1200 amp hours on one of these systems, I'd have to have 48 batteries versus the 12 batteries. And when these AGMs are close to 200 bucks a piece, that's quite a bit of money for a battery bank. And it's much cheaper for me to buy a $40 switch and some two gauge wiring and wire this up. Um, I was able to buy that switch, the wire, the bus bars, everything for less than $200 for the cost of one battery 
and be able to switch it over like that. So just a little information on these inverters. I really like these. I've had um, these for about a year now, and I've been playing with different ways of um, solar panels in my backyard facing all types of different directions, north, south, east, west, pointing straight up, hanging on walls, all kinds of different directions, trying to see what's the best for the time of the year that I'm going through. Um, and I'm coming up with some really interesting results that I'll be going over in videos in the future. But I hope this has been uh, helpful for you. And if it has, I hope you like and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. And see you again soon on Papa's Projects.